John Deere guys. They're Morning folks, just get back over to the farm. Got a couple of trucks to dump from last night. My brother and dad ran. And then I think we're gonna do beans. The one patch we we're gonna to go to actually got rained on. So after we finished the field we were in last night, I don't know what we're gonna do. We might go back to corn. Who knows? We'll change our mind four or five times and think about it. And last night, cracked my head. Not too bad. Fun story though. Got out of the car, parked the car at my in-law's house, turned around, door whacked me right in the side of the head, started bleeding down the side of my face. So you gotta watch the door off a of Chevy Suburban. It will attack you. Park that thing over there. Gotta sync up my climate. This iPad doesn't have data. So gotta take care of the important job. Just remembered I gotta run over home and get something, so I need to shut this leg down because I'm the only one here right now. Gotta do some things in here in the office real quick. I kind of forgot this morning. But let's see here. That's mighty fine. No, we don't want any. No. It's not for sale. <laughs> Freaking John Deere guys. Hey, I'm, I'm saying that that is one fine piece of looking equipment right there. <laughs> What's going on, Ron? Oh, not much, Brian. Good to finally see you again. Yeah. Now, Ron from Hearts and Family Farms. Got to know him through Instagram and YouTube and just being in farm shows and stuff together. But he was in the area, so I told, said him, hey, come on over. So he's going to hang out with us today, and we're probably going to put him to work. Said he's not scared of heights, so I'm sending him to the top of the leg, grease it. Got some hard to reach places in the combine that need greased. Both pretty dusty. Nah, I'm kidding. But these bins are full, so we are going to have to go over to where our office is. We've got two smaller, older bins there. We're going to fill up with some swingaway augers. Should I just set those swingaway augers? If you didn't know, Ron is a John Deere engineer, so Dad is uh, talking his leg off at the moment. They're still talking. Ron still has both his legs. So that's good. Didn't talk his leg off yet. Okay, I'm checking out a real combine. Yeah. Ron's just going right up ladders, cleaning out bean bins. <laughs> Hopefully they don't fall. But over here, we have to use a swing away auger. Right now we've got to switch sides of it so we can get it positioned where we need it. Wasp up here. Did you get him? He <laughs> got a nest under the lid. Nice! So apparently there's wasps up there, so I'm not going any farther. But hi guys, I'm Ron. Brian asked me to film. He thought I would stay down there. But uh, that's for weaklings. And Mama didn't raise a weakling. So they're setting up the, bin, the auger to the bin right now. Just like that. I didn't bring the warm weather. Brian here is graceful as a monkey. I believe BJ called me Apes in the Mist in the last video. Apes in the Mist. Oh, I like it. It's a movie. I've never heard of that. Yeah, us millennials don't understand. That's right. We also watch Star Wars. <laughs> Alrighty, Hartman Farms. Meet Brian's farming videos. Brian's farming videos. In Hartung Farms. So guys, I'm gonna double record like I did with Welkers. So I'm Ron with Hartung Family Farms, for those of you guys who don't know. And I'm just down with Brian for the day. Let's go help him out. It sounds like we're gonna be cutting beads with our alone this truck at the main bin site here, or a main bin site. Mom's gonna go up there into that oven and drop down into the bin, where DJ and I will supervise. Or 
Now we're going to eat some lunch, and then I think we're going to get in the combine, or get in a combine, or something. I don't know. We'll see. George, you have to eat something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get you on camera. Ron needs it for his video. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess I can't come here without having the famous George, uh, George Mash. You gotta make a t-shirt of that is what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright guys, we're just getting back over here. Dad's in the combine, he's getting ready to head to the field. Taking advantage of Ron, he's helping us move stuff. I'm gonna take this truck down there and park it. And then Ron's gonna take get the other one. We got, what, three loads of soybeans to do. And then I think, like I was telling Ron, probably wrong, but I think after we get done with the soybeans, we're gonna do some corn with my combine. It's supposed to rain tonight, so in the other, like I said, the other field that we were going to go do did get some rain, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm, like I said, I'm probably wrong. Well, I'm getting started here this morning. Well, this afternoon, I guess it is now getting late started as usual. Had to move another bin, had to put an auger up, clean the bin out, get the auger set. Didn't want to use them bins, but didn't know if we'd have to or not. Over home, there are them old bins. Two little ones hold about uh, 8,000 boots a piece. But uh, we have to use them, so uh, that's good. More beans, better. So we got about 50 acres left down here. And we bid out. We'll be down here today, <clears throat> and we'll be down to about 140 acres of beans. The first crop, 150. Thought maybe we'd try to do them down there today, but we didn't so we'll finish this up. We'll talk about rain tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Look at Ron run. He's trying to catch a ride, dropping his gloves. I'll get this for him. I can't tell if Ron is in that gigantic dust cloud or if he hopped in the combine. Seeing how he's riding in my semi, I hope he's in the combine. I think he dropped that. And it ended up being a really nice day. It's hard to believe it's supposed to rain in a few hours. Just want you to look at how hard my brother's working. He's got that Bengals pulled up there on his phone. Yeah, it's hard work watching that trash. <laughs> Now, one thing's for sure, you can't say my brother's not a die-hard Bengals and Reds fan. No matter how terrible they are, he still watches them. Both can win the same number of games in October this year. Zero. Are you constipating on your work? That's what George calls <laughs> yeah, us. I'm constipating on my work. Constipating very hard. I'm not. I was gassed inside of this cab a minute ago. It's bad. I don't know if you can see it, but Ron's sitting in there. He's learning what a good combine does. He looked like he was all smiles. Right, Dad said he wants to go dump this truck for some reason. I'm guessing he's just getting out so I can ride around and run the combine. I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna go get in his combine now. Probably should have went ahead and switched mine over to beans yesterday, but I think we're gonna do. I think we're gonna switch his over to corn here in a little bit. So. I mean, there was only three of us the whole time, so I mean, I did need to dump trucks anyways. If you haven't noticed, usually on the weekends, definitely on Sunday, it's just me, Dad, and BJ. I know most of you are wet, but we are dry. We need rain. Went from a rainforest to borderline drought-like conditions. Luckily, the dust is blowing that way. Fortunately, he's gonna swing that combine around this way. I don't even think he let Ron drive yet. Don't worry, Ron, I'll let you drive. So, Ron, how does it feel to run a combine for the first time? I'm still trying to get the hang of it, you know, uh, it's yellow, I still don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'll probably plug it here shortly, because that's what you do with cloth combines from what I heard. And I'm probably throwing a bunch of loss out the back. And the grain tank looks like crap. Looks worse than Zach's. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! That was a burn. Beautiful. Yeah, see, they got that nice logo right there. That, that is nice, I, I will admit that. Right now, Dad's rake's right in the middle of it. <laughs> Accessory bar, that's pretty nice. I really like having everything up here. Um, downsize, I do not like the hand, hydro handle. I don't like the dials, like I've, I'm used to my touch screens. You knock a Pro 700 as much as you want, but it's got a touch screen. <laughs> Overall, it's not a bad combine. I can't knock them really much anymore. Knock them, where's the fun of that? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, but... Hey Ron, you said you wanted a green soybeans. Those true. were planted August 1st. Have at it, buddy. All right, let's go. <laughs> now, I, I don't, I don't want to plug the machine. I'd rather not be digging out. Oh. Ron, was that your handiwork or was that Bob's? Definitely mine. He's kicking me out. Never again. He out. Said. Went for him to kick me off the platform. 
Our John Deere guy got in a Klaus. Didn't think I was ever going to get rid of it. There are so many cameras going right now. He's got his cell phone getting his Insta story. He's got his GoPro getting his YouTube video. And he's about to get completely covered in bean dust. Look at him trying to keep ahead of it. <laughs> Rod, don't fall in the head. Ron got to run a real combine, now he's running a real tractor. All right, we got done with this field. We're going across the creek. There was a field that we did about a month ago along the wood line, it was like 25%. So we're going to do that strip real quick. Question is, <coughs> can we get across the creek with the header still up? So I don't want to take it off. This is going to be interesting. I know we did this last year. It's just a matter of how much more as, as the woods grow. That tree needs to go. So does that one. Hey, we made it. Looks like Dad's taking his combine back. Pretty sure that's Ron in our semi. Wonder if he's taking that back to Iowa. Oh, Ron, you're hired. Yes. I hate trucking. Okay, got back to combine here. Brian's been running. Him, uh, buddy, his. We uh, finished that up across there where we was at. About 80 acres or 100 acres. Finished that up, and I'm back here. Uh, something we left the other day. We had to leave. They were some green along the edge here. Oh, a couple weeks ago, we did these probably. I mean, butter beans, and then we left them. And, uh, doing it now. There's a gleaner down the road. That's weird. Gleaner going down the road? Yeah, it's from like the last 20 years. I don't know. I do. It's newer than 20 years old. It's probably the newest gleaner I've seen in Ross County in a long time. I gotta wait till I see this cleaner. That's a real combine. Right now, Subtitle Bob is just beside himself because here in just a second, you guys are gonna see something amazing come across the screen. Look at that. That is a genuine cleaner. What's this thing? What if you, I don't know, you're in a hurry. You have to. Freaking string bean over here can't fit under the shield. <laughs> All right, just because Ron's never ran in corn and we're done with beans, so it's, we're not going to move tonight. So my combine's still hooked up to the corn head. Run a load of corn just for Ron. Aww. What are you doing? What? You're eating the GMOs. It's good. Ron's going to kill over any minute now. I told you. Hey, gone. Looks like we just picked up a um, F-150 pickup. Brian's decided to give his Lexion a run in the corn this evening just to make sure no parts go flying. So far so good, but I'm keeping my distance. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to get hit by anything flying off of it. Or it just seems like he's had a, a pretty rough go with the, with the machine in corn. So hopefully it smooths out. Even Ron, my baby this time. It's not dad's, this one's mine. This one I actually can break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably close to breaking anyways. Especially when we get a deer guy in That's it. why he put me that's why he wanted me to run right now. Yep. Yeah, you're insured, right? That's it. I don't know, you're looking pretty natural there. Can I can I say I'm in my element, I like corn. Yeah, got, you guys haven't ran any corn on your farm, right? We're still probably a good week out from running corn. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, Ron has a YouTube channel. You wanna plug that now? I guess I shall. It's Heart Tongue Family Farms. Like heart, like heart, I love you guys. And tongue, I talk a lot. So hearts on family farms on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. So they're getting ready. To, they're just getting started in harvest. So Our corn's still green. So after we're done, you guys can go watch it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Ron, nope, try nope. to get the gram. Nope. Not having it. Tear my corn up. Okay, I am trying to get the gram. It's not working. We're gonna have to pry Ron out of there. I still haven't put that half leg in the feeder house chain, so gotta do that before we run too much more. So once it gets to the end, that's gonna, we're gonna shut her down. Oh yeah, gotta get the, gotta get the Instagram. Oh, that's gonna go dead. Putting her up for the night. Had to, had to get Ron out of here. He's kicking me out. Hey guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. It was a real blast having Ron out. Unfortunately, he did come on a Sunday, so he missed out on a field dinner. Kayla usually has Sundays off. Um, thanks, Ron, for coming out. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Facebook, Brown Farms. I'd tell you what we're doing tomorrow, but I have no idea. <laughs>